Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey, how are you? How are you? Might sound a little hoarse because I'm getting over this cold or whatever I have. I'm like 99% sure it's a cold. Um, despite what people are saying, which is completely false, I never thought I had COVID. I'm getting tested just in case um, because I have to care for somebody elderly and sick. So it's just a responsible thing to do. I've not seen my grandmother since, oh, it's been a while now. So I have another family member kicking in until I can feel better and not spread anything to her. So I have McDonald's here. I have a lot of McDonald's food for breakfast and my appetite's not affected. <laughs> it was before, but now I'm starting to feel hungry again. Um, so I had a nice shower. McDonald's grease in my hair. No, my hair's really getting long, but no makeup. And I have a lot to eat, a lot to bitch about. So yeah, so let's get to, let's get to. Number one, um, I don't really feel like um, supporting the coldest water bottle anymore. Um, I've seen them sponsor bullying channels. So uh, call me bitter, whatever you want. I don't feel that I want to be a part of that company who supports that kind of thing that just doesn't even like, I don't know. So, you know what? I don't need your money. So, I'm not going to be having a coldie anymore. That's just the type of bitch I am. So, as the title of this video, you can see that what I'm really sorry for. Yes, I love sweater on my pancakes. I did put the syrup on already, the maple syrup. Oh, this bacon, okay. Beauty butt. Mm. So we have a sausage egg McMuffin here. Just coming apart. <laughs> The cheese is all melty and we have here in Canada I don't know if you guys have it in the States it's a chicken biscuit chicken on a um, English muffin chicken patty with mayo five hash browns a whole bunch of salsa and we're just gonna eat two donuts Boston cream maple cream mm. so anyway I'm going to be bitching about Miss Fake Gold. If you don't know who that is, you don't need to. Just ignore and <laughs> just watch me eat, I guess. Number one, I want to say I have no makeup on right now. And I think my skin looks pretty good. So whenever you say things, Charlie Fake Gold, like she uses a lot of Lush products. And her skin looks bad. Number one, how is that important commentary? And number two, I think my skin looks pretty good. I don't have a tons of foundation on like you do. So, that sounds to me like you're just jealous. Anyway. Um, ketchup. Ketchup. <laughs> I'm sorry that I ever explained myself for my comments about Charlie, about calling her Cole, because I wasn't being racist. And that's, I firmly believe that, and I should have stood by that. I'm sorry that I ever apologized for that, because I know I'm not racist. Um, it's just ridiculous at this point. You know, coal is black, so I'm sick of the false outrage. Um, every time a white person, a white woman, she feels threatened by and who insults her looks somehow, 
she then uses the race card and call and and like uses false outrage to call them racist or whatever um Cole is a black rock and for Christmas time you would say if you're on the naughty list you're, you're gonna get a piece of black coal in your stocking so would I be racist if I said to fake gold since you've been a bully you're gonna get black a piece of coal in your stocking she calls herself gold coal is like the opposite it's it's a non-valuable rock you know it's something I came up with, like at the top of my head. It had nothing to do, if it was racist, it would be describing the color of her skin. And it's not. <laughs> it never was. I used it in my most recent post saying Charlie Cole because that's how black is. Your, that's, your soul is black, not the color of your skin. Let me repeat that. Cole, in reference... So the color of your soul, not your skin. Okay. People are just reaching, looking for anything to chastise me for. And I find that really ridiculous because people have no problem and support her making fun of me on a daily basis and stealing my content to bully. Hmm. But when I defend myself, I'm a racist. Or whatever. I'm crazy. Like, who's the crazy one here? Do you see me making video after video obsessively talking about this one person? Like, if I sat here and did videos degrading another fat person being the size I am, you would think I'm nuts. So why is it different for her? Because I have haters. Why do I have haters? Because I defend myself? Because I'm a fat girl eating on camera? Um... <laughs> Because I have a bad attitude? What kind of attitude do you expect me to have? Do you want me? Like, you know what I mean? Anyway. And some, like, there's this man. He's like a freaking creepy old crypt keeper looking guy. I don't care. He's creepy looking. He looks like a serial killer. And, like, he just flaps his gums about me. Like, calling me a fat, smelly bitch. Like, you look like you smell. Not me. I'm sorry, but you look like that old smelly guy who eats dog can canned dog food. There's this old creepy man. Looks like a serial killer. Calling me fat, smelly, whatever. Like <laughs> And his problem is that I'm I'm six hundred pounds, which I'm like half that and <clears throat> I love it any ob obese person is automatically 600 pounds I, I don't even know why I bother you know what the more I talk about this the more ridiculous it is that <laughs> like do you know what I mean it just sounds more ridiculous that I'm even like defending myself against these these idiots so all I'm saying is that there's a problem on YouTube. YouTube doesn't care about their content creators. Um, because if they did, they wouldn't allow that. It's okay to bully fat people because we're not under a protected status. So that's okay. Um... If I were YouTube, I'd be careful about that because if somebody ends up hurting themselves because of the bullying they, they allow, even after it being reported, I mean, that's blood on their hands. 
and all of you who support channels who bully others, it's on your hands too. If you co-sign that crap. I'm not going to stop doing mukbangs. I'm going to keep eating what I want. You don't know what I eat. And the, you know what I mean? I'm like, I haven't gained weight. Um, you can say I have. But you don't know. I mean, you haven't seen me step on a scale. We haven't even seen you step on a scale, fake gold, and forever. So the fact that you advertise your channel as a journey, a self-journey, but all you do is your journey is sitting on the floor criticizing my videos. Journey to happiness, her channel says. So, you're a stereotype. You're like textbook. Your journey to happiness is bringing someone else down to make yourself feel better. At least you're not as fat as me. Well, I'd rather be my size and I'd rather be me than you any day. I don't need to rely on bullying to build my channel. That's when what you all don't realize the difference is. And yeah, you guys are helping me build my channel in a way, but you're also spreading lies about me. And you're also bullying and you're also being, you know what I mean? Like, You're full of shit. So, let's try that chicken. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to sit back. I've said my piece. I'm going to sit back and let you guys watch, watch yourself, watch you destroy yourselves because <clears throat> what goes around comes around and I firmly believe that. What goes around comes around. <sighs> Do I try potato with salsa? So we'll see. Hmm. That's good. We'll see. What goes around comes around. You reap what you sow and what you've sown is being an online bully. The only time I've ever come after you, or anyone else, is in retaliation. Which, is that appropriate? Probably not, but... Like, just stupid, like... I really don't see how YouTube allows that. You comment on the most irrelevant, stupid things like the size of my underwear. What does that have to do with me as a person? You're insulting like every fat girl out there and I hope someday a fat girl really puts you in your fucking place. <clears throat> like the fact that so many people think I deserve it what people say about me just because I'm fat and not losing weight or trying to lose weight 
or discussing my weight or giving you an explanation of how much I weigh or why I'm eating McDonald's <laughs> when it's none of your fucking business. There's a reaction channel. It's like they complain about the noises I make when I'm eating. Then why the fuck are you watching me? Why are you watching a mukbang? Do you do people not realize how stupid you look by like complaining about that and then making your channel about that? Well, It's not right. To me, it's not right that people get to, and even Nick Akato Avocado, like the clip I put in my community post, he hates Charlie. He can't stand her because she she's full of crap. And you can profit off of bullying. You can complain that I profit off of my eating disorder or eating this, but you profit off of bullying me, and that's worse. How about you worry about your personality disorder? <clears throat> like, I don't understand how people don't see the hypocrisy at this point. It's like, like one channel will call me a fat, s smelly bitch. And then in the second breath, turn around and be like, she accused me of being a fat shamer. I'm not a fat shamer. Calling somebody a fat bitch and making fun of their stomach is fat shaming. Dildo. <laughs> like. Or one creator, you know, prides himself in having so many subscribers, making reaction channels, bullying me, threatening to stalk me. making fun of my vlogtober how boring it is but then does their own vlogtober and hardly gets any views so like how do people not see how ridiculously hypocritical that is like <clears throat> that's what pisses me off it's not the fact it's not it doesn't piss me off for the reasons you think it doesn't hurt my feelings fake gold that you make fun of my receding hairline which by the way yours is up to here so i wouldn't be talking or you don't like my skin which is actually baby smooth and i get complimented on it every day it doesn't bug me that you don't like what i'm eating that you don't like the size of my underwear it doesn't bug me it bugs me that you profit off of bullying another woman. That people follow you blindly without seeing the hypocrisy. And that you make up lies about me just for your entertainment. Just for your content. Because without me, you would have nothing. So you should be thanking me and not criticizing me. That's just my thoughts. So I'm truly sorry for is apologizing. For something I didn't do. I didn't make racist comments about you. You turned it around that way. And said it was microaggressions. Everyone, look, if I had to worry about something I said offending, like people throw racism around, like somebody, for example, my Chinese food mukbang video, the thumbnail. 
I was taking a bite and I was squinting my eyes as I took a bite and someone's like, that's racist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just over that. I really don't care if you think I'm racist anymore. I really don't care what you think of me. <clears throat> I'm going to keep doing my mukbangs. I'm going to eat how much food I want to eat, how many calories I want to eat. It's not your business. And you complaining and bitching about it is not going to change it. Um, so that's what I'm sorry for. I'm sorry that YouTube doesn't, that YouTube allows this kind of crap on YouTube. Um, maybe one day it will change. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry that I haven't stuck to my guns. <clears throat> I'm not deleting anything from my community post. Because I stand by what I say. You know? If you want to come for me for being harsh on that friggin' serial killer old man from the Enter Sandman video, but not ashamed of what he's saying to me, please... Please be quiet. Shh. I said, shh. I'm not, I don't know about Vlogtober, honestly. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to do these vlog, daily vlog theme things. I'm just going to do videos when I can. <laughs> like, because I don't, like, it's flu season or whatever, right? So... I'm not in a party mood, so that's why I didn't want to do my Halloween party. Maybe next week. And, um, like, I feel okay. I just feel like, excuse me. Oh, yeah, and just to say, I've actually seen a lot of people criticize my Halloween party for just being Pete's and the cats when I've said that it has to be that way because of covid and I had to cancel my friends coming over because of COVID. We are in a pandemic. So yeah, I have to stick with just the creatures and people in my household for the party. So there you go. Um, my throat's feeling a bit better. <clears throat> like I can swallow and stuff. I just feel run down. Fatigued and kind of like I feel like I'm going to be losing my voice or something like you know what I mean <laughs> anyway it's it's appalling how fat women women because fat women who eat on YouTube get treated way worse than fat men Let's go look at the comment sections. How we get treated for um, eating or doing what we want. For flaunting our bodies. You know? Like my try on haul. Like what gives this... There's like a 65 year old man. He might be 80. I don't know. Anyway, he's an older man. I'm like... <laughs> completely just like demeaning. Like mine and Prissy P's bodies. Like, dude, you're a total creep. You're disgusting. And YouTube loves that. They don't give a shit about their friggin' content creators. At all. Like... They don't. Whatever. 
I said my two cents. I'm not going to let it ruin my life. <laughs> like, but, I, you know, I feel like it, something has to had to be said about it. It's just like, it's ridiculous. Never in my life have I seen something like that. Like this person. <laughs> and I've seen some scary people. I'm thirsty. I'm not drinking from my cold. Terminate my contract, I don't care. <laughs> really, I don't. <clears throat> I'm sick of having the huge bottle in my frame anyway. They used to sponsor just like mukbangers, and now they're just sponsoring any Tom, Dick, and Harry. So the majority of you people know what I meant when I use the word coal recently. And if you want to think I'm racist, go ahead. It's just an excuse for false outrage. How about you use your energy that you have so much of, apparently. I wish I did. Like this old man. You fat bitch. Like, I'm surprised his dentures have been fallen out of his face from all the shit he talks. Better watch that. <sighs> yeah, I'm bitchy. Hmm. The chicken one is so good. <laughs> I need to do my dishes. They're not getting done right now. I'm gonna drink water. Go lay in bed. Probably sleep again. <laughs> I've been sleeping like just whenever I'm tired, like when I'm sick. I like sleeping it off, you know, but, um, another thing I hate is when people like, oh, you're so sick, but you're spending time on social media. So what? I see people, I see cre creators who have cancer. I have a cold, you know, I see creators who have cancer go online and like, spread hateful shit like you know but i get attacked for having a cold and going on and like speaking my mind i'm in bed i have nothing else to do so and you have nothing better to do either obviously if you take what i say right away you're like stalking my comments or community posts right away you take my content <laughs> like anyway <clears throat> I'm just annoyed that I wish more people would see how stupid these people are. That's what makes me mad. And they don't like when you defend yourself. They push you and push you and push you. Yeah, I'm putting the packaging in the garbage, okay? 
I'm sick of people complaining about every little single thing. <laughs> um, they, they push you and then whenever you defend yourself, like right now, like I'm calling it right now, people are going to find a way to twist this and I'm, I'm a racist all over again. So whatever. Go talk and let loose. Whatever you have to do to make yourself feel better about yourself. Okay. I'm sick of like not speaking my truths or defending myself just because I don't want to cause more drama. I'm sick of worrying about that. I'm just going to say what I want to say from now on. I'm going to eat how I want to eat. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. And if you don't like it, you know what to do. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you.